Munchies, what's going on? There's not much you guys seem to get more excited about than bento boxes and vegan ones at that. And today is really a treat because I've teamed up with Sabra to share their new line of Mediterranean dips. They're unique from hummus because they're made with white, red, and black beans. Oh man, this is the good stuff. To celebrate, we've got one box coming your way to highlight each new dip. This is bento snack boxes, dips, and dippers edition. First up, the white box. The white bean dip is made with Tuscan spinach and roasted garlic. All of these dips are great for anyone looking to include more plant-based ingredients because they are all vegan. You can find them in your grocery store's deli dip section. For this box, I'm making another fave dipper of mine. It may even be higher on my list than pita, bagel chips. These are so easy because we are cheating. I'm using some small bagels, whole wheat or gluten-free, and slicing them super thinly. Add to a baking rack on a pan and brush both sides with oil and sprinkle with seasonings. I'm using garlic powder, onion salt, and oregano. Bake until crisp. Be sure to flip them if you aren't using a rack which lets the air circulate. Allow to cool before serving. Wowza, these are such a fun way to switch up your regular bread-based dipper. Crunchy and delicious on their own, but significantly enhanced when paired with Sabra's new white bean spinach and roasted garlic dip. I've also got olives served with these mini skewers in this box, a Mediterranean ingredient to pair perfectly with a Mediterranean dip. Along with yellow and cherry tomatoes, that skewer will come in handy here too. And broccoli. Now, if you are not someone who enjoys raw broccoli, you're not alone. It's not very good. But a quick blanch will make it a bit more edible and keep it crisp. Simply add broccoli florets to boiling water for just two to three minutes. You'll see them become super vibrant green and then transfer to an ice bath. Dry them off and let them cool. These will be more palatable to dip. In fact, they'll be tasty as, well, think of a really tasty thing. That's the white box. What is it about snack foods that makes them so fun? If you're enjoying bento box videos and fun hacks, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and hit that bell because if you don't double subscribe, it doesn't matter. Next up, the black box. The black bean dip is made with roasted tomatoes and paprika. Zesty. That will be the main component of my box, but what about the dippers? Well, with any bean dip, pretty much my favorite vessel is pita bread. So let me show you a homemade version that's cleaned up and vegan and requires no yeast. Whisk all-purpose whole wheat or gluten-free all-purpose flour in a bowl with baking powder, baking soda, and salt. Add in some warm almond milk and melted coconut oil and stir until integrated, but don't overmix. The dough will be sticky, but hold together and not dry. Sprinkle some flour on a parchment lined baking sheet, scoop balls of dough and use oiled hands to press each ball into a rustic circle about an eighth of an inch thick. I'm making baby pitas for my snack box, but you could make bigger if you prefer. Bake in the oven until the breads are puffing up and browning just slightly on the bottom. Flip and bake another few minutes. Cool slightly before serving. These are like a true pita, soft and chewy, but heartier than regular bread, perfect for dipping. Those go into my box along with some endives or endives, both sweet and bitter, pairing perfectly with bean dips and a great vessel and scooper. I've also got red and green bell pepper dippers. Now they don't taste the same, red or sweeter than green, so choose the variety that you like. And red apple slices. Check out this cool hack. So whenever I pack apples in a lunchbox, everyone gets all worked up about them browning. I get it, the lemon juice hack only sort of works. But have you tried a salt bath? Pretty much, make a salt water solution with a cup of water and a half teaspoon of salt. Add your cut apple, this will also work with pears, and soak for 10 minutes. Then drain and store until you're ready to use. The salt taste is mild, so you can leave it, but I recommend rinsing them, patting dry, and packing it up for lunch. This will buy you at least a few hours before browning begins. Nifty, eh? That is the black box. Snacks, anyone? Okay, we're finishing up with the red box. 
a red bean dip with sun-dried tomatoes and basil. Oh yeah! This actually is probably my favorite of the three in terms of taste, but all of them are nutrient-rich, blended with real vegetables, and have two grams of protein per serving. I'm serving this one with jicama, which is a root vegetable with a white, sweet, and crisp, juicy meat. Surprisingly, it won't change color like you'd think, so no salt soaking is needed, and it aids in digestion, boosts immune system, and improves brain function. I've also got cucumber chips for that Mediterranean freshness. How about dried apricots? A zing of sweetness and tartness pairs well with the creamy, rich, and savory bean flavors and herbs. When we filmed these bentos, this apricot and red bean dip combo actually ended up being our filming team's favorite. It is so good. And finally, herby almond crackers. My thinking here was almonds go great with beans, but dipping an almond is just silly. Plus, you can't use a toothpick, so. Combine almond flour, salt, and za'atar, which is a common condiment and seasoning in the Mediterranean, but you can really use any herbs and spices you prefer. Whisk water and oil together, and then add to the dry mixture to make your dough, which will be a little bit crumbly, but it will hold together when pressed. Roll that out between a few sheets of parchment to a thin eighth of an inch thickness, remove the top sheet of parchment, and cut into squares. Transfer to a baking sheet and bake until golden brown. Cool completely as they will crisp as they cool. Okay, these are seriously my favorite crackers today on Mind Over Munch. If you are going to try a cracker recipe, try this one. And why not dip it in some of Sabra's new red bean dip? This entire box is delicious, really all of these are. Dips and dippers galore. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know which brand new Sabra dip you're most excited to try. Thanks so much to Sabra for teaming up with me on this video. I really love Sabra products, so I feel lucky to work with them here and that they were able to make this video possible for all of you. Their info is also in the description box below. I'll see you Thursday for a brand new episode, and remember, it's all a matter of mind over munch.